so November 8th, I was in Sweden and, and I do nothing about what was going on. There was a lot of, I think, just misinformation going around. It was like every time that I heard something about what was happening in the Party Girls group chat, it was something different almost. This afternoon, the UK Police Department received information from a social media post that contained an unsubstantiated threat involving the Whitehall classroom building. As is normal in these situations, UK police are investigating the social media post. In the meantime, we have increased our safety presence around Whitehall, even as events and classes will proceed as normal on Thursday, November 8th. We will keep you informed about any additional developments. I got an alert that there was a bomb threat, and I got a lot of concerned students who were emailing me about how they didn't feel comfortable being in the building. Uh, and it was, it was scary. I'm not from in-state. If there's a bomb threat and it goes off, I don't have anyone in Kentucky who can help me. Good evening to you. Concern at the University of Kentucky tonight. Campus police are investigating a potential threat. It is targeting the heart of UK's campus. Our newsroom has taken some phone calls from concerned students and parents tonight. Uh, Whitehall is a classroom building on the campus of University of Kentucky. Uh, I think it's a pretty prominent building. A lot of students have classes there, and it's right in the middle of a uh, central campus, so you're always passing it. It's right next to the student center. Whitehall was the building that I think everyone at least had one class in. There was, I think, at least five snaps, and they were all from this Max R character, specifically sending them to uh, this one girl named Haley Duvall, and she was the one who warned us about them. And I didn't know any Maxes, and none of my friends knew any Maxes, so we weren't like trying to figure out who it was because we honestly had no clue. And that was probably worse than like knowing who it was. Some that had done that had frightened the sh out of a lot of students. And like uh, whoever it was, I was hoping that they'd be arrested and prosecuted to the fullest extent because they really panicked a lot of kids. I do know people who had to go to class and even in Whitehall, which was something that I wasn't super happy about. I actually canceled classes for that day, not because I thought that the building was gonna blow up, but because I thought that with everything that the students had been through, like even if like 25% of the students, 30% of the students thought it was real, they would just be sitting in the class, stressing out all day. Just basically told them you don't have to, it's completely fine. In fact, I'm gonna call off class. You know, it was ridiculous that somebody did that and ridiculous that anybody would think otherwise not to cancel their course. I had John Clark's class and he was just like, y'all are He's like, this is all nothing. This one girl who knew what to do and we all listened to her, especially when she was on the news helping us and giving us the information we needed. She even told them uh, that she was going to work with the cops and help to figure out who, who Max R was or what was going on with Max R. She later that night, went on uh, went on to WKYT and she did an interview with them. But yeah, definitely at first I was like, yeah, no, this is just one mad kid who probably failed an exam. Um, but then the more they came, um, once I was added on Snapchat by the, the person, I like realized it was a little bit more severe than initially let on. into writing so that just seemed like a joke. It felt like it was a big prank and I guess it was but it was like I was living in an episode of TV almost because it's like how can things play out like this in real life? It didn't seem real just like no but seriously who was it? Police were able to make an arrest early this morning, just hours after those threats really started making the rounds. Screenshots from Snapchat showed them. The fear has spread just as it should. Whitehall is about to be white ashes. You may not be ready to die, but I am. Investigators say 19-year-old Haley Duval, who actually first reported those threats to police, was arrested early this morning. Girls started sending so many memes about it. I've seen the one where it's like the Spider-Man meme, and it's like her in the interview, and then 
her mugshot, and it's like, what? Those are those are kind of the same person. I mean, that was a hot meme at the time. It just fit too well. I, I think she just thought it was okay. Somehow she rationalized in her brain that, that it was okay, and uh, and that she was gonna she was gonna be a hero at the end of all this or something to that effect. All these speculations of bomb threat, you know, on UK's campus already is kind of like a, you know, inflammatory zone. So when I heard she was white, I was like, okay, all right, could be worse. When I found out that it was that Haley Duvall was actually this Max R character, I thought she was an idiot. She, she was the one giving out the Snapchats. She was the one who went on the news and interviewed about these terrible threats that were going to happen to Whitehall. The challenge, of course, being not knowing with Haley, you don't always know, right? Like students don't always show you that they need help. There are also plenty of students who come to every class and who turn in great work until the day that they don't. She looked like she was distressed. Maybe she start a fire that was too big for her to control. It just looked like, a, looked like it was getting out of hand and she didn't look too composed. Mental health is incredibly important, but I also think that there's some sort of responsibility. My personal opinion is that you can't just write somebody off as, this was a mental health issue, so, you know, we'll, we'll completely 110% focus on that and we'll kind of like push back in the corner that this was a crime, yeah. you know, and because that what that does is it's telling everybody else who panicked and that day felt really uncomfortable that you're not important. Real counseling, real therapy takes a lot more than that. And I think in that situation and in the situation that we're going through now with the pandemic, it's very evident that the school oftentimes cares more about its public image and the money that it's making versus its actual students and faculty and the people that make this campus a community. I don't know, I think campus's response to everything is pretty... That's honestly like as vague and blunt as I can put it. It's like mental, mental illness is like just one feather in a whole bird of shit. I think she should be redeemed um, because ultimately she did not cause physical harm. This is something that she can never completely put behind her because it's something that has real consequences. But this is just something bad and she she's an adult. She need, should be smarter than that. So if we can't let people get past that, right? If we can't let people get their mental health in order and start their lives again, then I think that's a real loss, not just for the individual, but for the community. Oh.